Saturday night, Baltimore lacrosse. Good luck finding a better formula than that. Welcome to the PLL on ESPN, where the biggest surprise in the league so far takes center stage as undefeated Chrome faces Cannons at Homewood Field in Baltimore. In the cage for the team in red, white, and blue, it's Nick Morocco who led the PLL in saves entering the weekend. However, he did give up a season worst 20 scores in last week's loss against Archers. For Chrome, it's the unit, Sean Scanoni, who has been locked in to begin this season. He has denied 54% of shots coming his way, including a PLL record three scores allowed in week two versus Redwoods. 10 seconds to shoot. Centers it to Anderson. That one stuffed by Morocco. JT Giles Harris draws the Thompson matchup. That's a long one right into the mitt of Sean Scanoni. What an outlet. And quickly in transition. Here comes Chrome. Quickly in transition for Cara. Tight defense. Bounces one. Scanoni says no. Right back to Chrome. In on him. They can, they can send quick double teams and flush the ball out of the stick. Nolting out X, trying to squeeze through that defense. Scanoni scoops it up, and here comes Chrome once again. Really pushing it off the, the chains of possession. Saved by Scanoni. Nolting has one. Twist. Oh, tries going behind the back, but Scanoni denies. He fills up that net 270 pounds. Severe angle shots don't go. Five seconds left. Can they beat the buzzer? That was a two point attempt. And that'll end our first quarter. Salama tried giving Chrome the lead. In, in the World Championships next week, Team USA women's team was here last night. Nice save there by Morocco. And the shoot now for Chrome. McIntosh has one tonight. Cannon's putting a shorty on Wisnowskis, daring him to be a Dodger. I'd rather see Chrome roll that ball in the corner, Jake, rather than put it in Morocco's stick, potentially giving up some transition. They're pushing it when they don't need to. You don't really see that from them, at least the last three weeks. They've got to let the offense come to them, and now it's a turnover, and it's in the Cannon's offensive end. Thanks, Dana. Cannon's up one. Tried to make it two there, but Scononi. Denies. Scanoni has been really strong this summer. This is the type of game where his team's not playing their A effort. He's got to rise up. He's got to carry them and, and sort of hold off the cannons until his team finds their, their comfort zone. Pulver, 12 and blue, draws the Nick Turn assignment. Malloy with three to shoot. Got to make a move. Tries to beat the buzzer. Cannot. Not much you can do there. Yes, that maybe this was a perfect storm for something a little unusual. Yeah, losing 20 to 9, a little bit of a wake up call for Cannons, and they have responded well to that, at least in this first half so far. That's saved by Scanoni. The rebound unsuccessful from Cheryl M. Beatties. That's the first time we've said his name, making his PLL debut. Nolting. He sets. Turner had the last one. Looks for another, but it's scooped up by Scanoni. All right, let's go under the helmet, powered by Sun Chlorella with Nick Baraka. It's your right, Tice. It's your right, Tice. We're away. We're away. We're away. Let him win, Tice. to the moon. 7-4 cannons, three and a half to go in this first half. Chrome looking to extinguish this cannons run. It's been three straight by the team in red, white, and blue. It's a Nick turn. Nick turn's been a little quiet, hasn't he? Yes. Coming off a four goal performance in the win over Water Dogs last week. Can't finish it there. But this is really the first big time adversity they faced. And can you explain to us what that balance of rookies and veteran leadership looks like? How does that work in the dynamics of the locker room? It looks like a good salad. You know, you can't have like too much old lettuce. You gotta have some tomato and maybe a little celery and 
a little carrot. It's a balance. It's a mix. Everybody's adding to the equation. So as Nauskas and Nick Turn are adding. A ways away from the cage. Inside, the spin to beat the buzzer. Bounce, no, ball in the air. The 10th save from Morocco. Cannons 0809. Thompson over the crossbar. Great game last week. Here he is. He's been quiet. Nice defense. Looking for the angle. McIntosh has two. But Morocco denies. Twister shot. Morocco locks that one up at the post. Let's check out our progressive game flow here. Morocco, Georgetown, class of 2018. Just at the last second, he's man he manages to seal the deal shut. Massachusetts native, blue collar kid. He's a big Boston fan. His dad, Joe, is his greatest supporter. Talk about dealing with adversity, Q. He gave up 20 scores last week in the loss to Archers. When we talked to Coach Quirk, he said he talks to Morocco daily as he denies another there, and he doesn't get down too much mentally. How impressive is that to give up 20 and not miss a beat? Yeah, I, I actually thought he did okay last week, that really them giving up 20 was more indicative of, of their poor defense. And to hit the reset button as a goaltender is essential. I mean, you give up a goal, it's about the net making the next save, it's about the next shot. You lose a game, the same deal. Like Sundays is your mental health, mental health day. You shake it off and you move ahead. Nick's been doing it for a while. 26-year-old, I like his intuition and his instincts. He's a, he's a smart guy. He seems to make the right choices. Slower tempo here. Cannon's looking for a high-quality shot. That one into the mitt of Scannoni. He, he breaks that barrier, so to speak. He gets inside the defensive comfort zone. Two goals and three assists for Lyle. That shot from Drenner unsuccessful. And now can that defense make stops to try to help this comeback? Scannoni denies, and here they come. Still scoreless today. Looking to change that. Some contact there, and scooped up by Morocco. Nick Turn wanted a call. He pulverized Pulver, but it, and then it was almost as if Pulver pulled him down. Progressive game flow, left side of your screen. Watch him. Watch Nick Turn get lower and win the contact. And Pulver then uses his legs to kind of tie him up and hold him. A lot more physicality in the second half on both sides. Let's see who gets the look. Malloy comes in on the left wing, right into the stick of Morocco, his 14th rejection with 20 seconds to go. Oh, what a scoop. Chrome has it. It's the long pull. Terrafenko, Malloy, rejected. Ball loose in front. Violation, cannonball. 12.2 remaining. Now it's Cannons with the chance to walk it off. Under Watch the sequence. Oh no, that was a stop. Look at Morocco, top way high out on his arc. From mid-range, that shooter's got the goalie in a disadvantageous position. Morocco comes way out to creep out like a hockey goalie, top of the arc, his 15th save of the day. Here we go, it's Lyle Thompson with six. Goes inside, he slips, three seconds left. Ball still loose. How about overtime here in Baltimore? For Chrome in overtime. They were down 10-6. Wisnowskis surges inside and a flag on the play. His stick is broken in half. Wow. He's got a backup. Every goal he's got a trusty backup. Referees will give him time. Never seen that before, especially in this high of an intensity of a situation. I thought they might get Wisnowskis on a crease violation, but he's pushed. It's a good call. Referees have done a nice job. Ray Hill got him from behind, and Wisnowskis takes out Morocco and was a dangerous play. Morocco steps up and delivers the hit. Numbers up top. The quick feed to Wisnowskis picks it back up. No. Oh, this is nuts. The defense on both ends, insane. Space gets the steal. 
fakes, shot to the right. What a look from Malloy. Oh, this, this is the best. Oh, the quick feed, it's good! It's over! Mike Messenger, the hero in Baltimore! Chrome comes back and steals one in the Charm City.